All right, guys, so this is going to be the five most important modifications to do on your ride. And this really applies to any vehicle. It doesn't matter what kind of vehicle you have. These are the five most important modifications to do, in my opinion. Let's get right into the video. So this is in no particular order, but the very first modification you want to do is get an aftermarket alarm system put on your ride. Car theft is higher than it's ever been. And the vehicles, unfortunately, they're making them easier to steal. They're not making them more difficult to steal. Uh, they're actually making them more easy. And actually, the Mopar vehicles are a breeze to steal. I mean, it's, it's sad how easy these things are to steal. Hellcats, Chargers, Durangos, it doesn't matter, SRT whatever they're very very easy to steal for that reason i highly recommend before you do any exhaust any cold air intake any of those modifications get an aftermarket alarm system one that'll notify you on your phone where you get alerts to where if your door's busted if they're trying to you know steal your catalytic converter if they break the window if anything's tampered with you're going to get notifications on your phone and i have a a video on the, the alarm system I have on mine. I have the CompuStar Pro T13. I have several videos on that. Go check those out. Get all the details. That's a highly recommended car alarm system. So that's the number one modification you want to do. Get an aftermarket alarm system. Make sure it has the shock sensors on your alarm system. That's very, very important because the shock sensors, let's say, for example, someone's trying to steal your wheels they're banging on the wheels trying to get the lug nuts off the shock sensor is going to send alerts to your phone in real time you'll get push notifications and then you'll know that something is going on with your ride and it'll tell you to check it another thing is they'll just bust the window and climb right in a lot of the the standard alarm systems that come with these vehicles you can bust the window and it won't even your alarm won't even set off so a lot of car thieves they'll just bust the window get in there, do their thing, or steal whatever they got to steal and, and go along their way. So the shock sensor, which has the glass break sensor as well, if they break the window, you'll get an alert again on your phone in real time, push notifications, telling you to go check your vehicle. Same thing with the catalytic converter. If someone's trying to lift it on a tow, you'll get those real time notifications because of the shock sensors that's incorporated with the alarm system they have on a day. And again, I have several different videos on explaining the CompuStar Pro T13 alarm system that I have on my vehicle. So that's the, the first modification you definitely want to get on your ride. The second modification is a kill switch. Now the kill switch is, is going to, if they, let's say they happen to get through your alarm system, they find some way to get through it where you're not getting the alerts. Okay. So let's say they get in your ride, they go to you know, whatever, hot wire it, use a relay box to steal it. The kill switch is not going to be able to allow them to start your vehicle. Now I have a video on the kill switch. I have installed on that, how to install one on this particular vehicle. Go check that out. Give it a thumbs up. Um, now the hardest thing about a kill switch is routing it to where you want to install the switch itself. You know what I mean? Cause you can install it anywhere in the vehicle. But the hardest part about it is the wiring. You have to like, let's say you want to uh, install it in the rear of the vehicle. You're going to have to take off all the paneling to wire it and route it out through, you know, back to where it's going to be hooked up at. Um, my particular kill switch, I, I installed it to the ignition. So, you know, um, but where I installed it, that was the most difficult part because I had to route the wires through to where my insulation point of the switch itself. So. But again, go check out my video on how to install a kill switch. Definitely a highly recommended thing to do and a recommended video to watch. So check that out. Now, the third thing you want to do, third most important modification is add some wheel locks, some aftermarket wheel locks. Don't get the OEM ones because they can easily get keys to those and, and those things can easily come off just with standard, um, not, uh, standard sockets. So aftermarket wheel locks i have videos on that as well go check that out the ones i have on there get a set of aftermarket wheel locks because 
those are the ones that's more difficult to get off. You know, even if they have the tools, you know, it's going to it's going to take time for one. And then it's going to be difficult for them to get them off. And again, with those aftermarket wheel locks, as they're trying to get them off, you're going to get notifications on your phone as they're trying to bang on them. And, you know, the shock sensors is going to notify you so that it just goes hand in hand with the alarm system, those aftermarket wheel locks. Now, the fourth thing, the fourth most important modification you want to get done to your ride, no matter what kind of ride it is, is this. Let's go inside the vehicle. Okay, so there's a neutral switch here, a neutral release switch in here. Um, this particular one is here. Now, this is where the neutral switch is. There's a cable. I took off my cable, but all you do is lift this up and now your vehicle will be in neutral and you, and you can tow it away. So what Car Thieves is doing now is they're breaking inside the vehicle. They're hitting, pulling up the neutral release switch so that the vehicle's in neutral and another vehicle they're using to just push your car away and steal it. Now I'm gonna roll a video of an, an example of this. All right, so here we have a man breaking into a Hellcat and notice the other vehicle beside it. But here he's just going to pry the window and he's just going to remove the entire window. He's never going to open the door because he knows the alarm's going to set off if he opens the door. And so here he just removes the entire window. He's going to jump inside the window and he's going to unlock the steering wheel and pull the neutral release switch. He's never going to open the door. He turns the steering wheel, gets the wheel straight. The other car is going to get behind it and it's going to push the Hellcat away. Just that simple. That's why you got to take these protective measures. So he jumps in the window and there he has it. Got himself a Hellcat. So that is why you want to get a neutral cover put over this. So when they go up there, when they go in here and they lift up the cover, there's going to be blockage there. They're not going to be able to get in there to release the neutral switch. Um, now, unfortunately, there's not anyone who makes these. They make them for the Challengers and the Chargers. Um, there's a guy on YouTube who makes those, but he doesn't make them for the Durango. So um, I'm in the process of getting the exact measurements and I'm just going to make one myself. And I may end up selling them so make sure you guys stay tuned for that but this is a definitely recommended modification that um, you want to get for you know for peace of mind and for auto theft prevention a cover on this to cover up that neutral release switch there so that's the number four number fourth most important modification the fifth most important modification is some kind of alternative GPS unit. Now the aftermarket alarm system that I have on this, it already has a GPS through the drone mobile. Um, so, but let's say a thief gets through that, they know how to uninstall the alarm system, just disconnect it. So if you have an alternative GPS system, I know some people, they put those, um, those Apple air tags, but I don't recommend that because if you have an iPhone, <laughs> if the thief has an iPhone, he's going to be notified on his iPhone that there's an AirTag nearby. So um, I, don't, I don't recommend the AirTags. I recommend getting some sort of secondary GPS unit that you can install to a 12 volt constant. Now, I do have a second GPS unit installed on my vehicle, but this is what you want to have, a secondary, just in case someone knows how to uninstall or disconnect your alarm system, your aftermarket alarm system, you can still track your vehicle, know where it's at, notify the authorities and get your vehicle back and possibly even catch the thief himself. So, so these are the top five most important modifications to do to your ride. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Drop a comment below. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Definitely check out my other playlists. Um, we got more great content on the way. I will see you guys in the next video. Alex is RT Light.